Yo, what up? This is Logic here in London on SBTV. Turn up. When I was 18 years old, my mentor Solomon, he told me to look in the dictionary and find a, a word that I felt best described me. And I came across the word psychological. And I loved it because I'm all about the mind and the power of the mind. And, and then my homie Lenny, like a year later, ended up, he just called me Logic for short, you know, after we met because it made sense. And, and then ever since then, I've just been Logic. So that's where, that's where that came from. There is definitely a big difference in the way that I see the world from when my album was out, uh, or when I was working on the album to now that it is out. Um, I think there was a lot of pressure, you know what I'm saying? Because when you create your first album, you want it to be perfect, you want it to be flawless. But I think it's some of the flaws inside of it, you know what I mean, the imperfections that made it perfect, for me, at least at the end of the day. And my mentality now, when creating music, is so different because the first album was the introduction, who I am, who is Logic, what am I, what am I about, where am I going, what am I doing? And you know, now when I write, when I write music and I write records, it's, it's not an introduction anymore. It's kind of it's just, where do I see myself and what am I going through now, rather than the past and, and letting you know what I had gone through uh, on the journey to becoming the young man that you see today. I think a perfect introduction for somebody who hasn't heard my music would probably be the title track, Under Pressure, because it really just lets you in, it lets you know everything, and I produced it myself, and it kind of gives you a grand spectrum of what I'm about. And then my favorite song, it varies, it, it, it always differs, I think it's, it depends on my, my mood and where I'm at and what I'm, what I'm kind of into, but I really love Metropolis, however, um, I haven't listened to the album since it came out, so just, just when I perform, that's the only time I really hear it, because I'm just so focused on what's next. Well, the first the first artist that I really like discovered um, was Wu Tang Clan. Like, really, really discovered it was Wu Tang Clan. But the ones who made me want to really write was The Roots, Black Thought of The Roots. Crazy. Yeah. Like, I'm just Bobby. That's who I am. But like, when I go outside, it's almost like. Batman, it's like you put on this thing, you know what I mean? Because the public knows me as logic. So it's like, I would never be annoyed. Uh, there's only been once or twice when like, I've had to tell somebody to hold up for a second. It's usually when I'm on the phone. Because if I'm having a, an important conversation on the phone, just respect my privacy, let me finish my phone call. And then after that, sure, we'll take a picture, whatever. Yeah, so that's it. I don't know how humble it is for me to talk about how humble I am. <laughs> but <laughs> I think, I don't know. I just look at it as like, I'm a regular ass dude. And I think that, I guess people can relate to that, you know what I mean? Um, because like, yeah, sure, I rap, that is my profession, but ju just because this is my profession, it, 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 it makes me no different from the average man or woman, for sure, 100%, you know what I mean? Like, we all do things, some of us do things we love, some of us do things we hate, but at the end of the day, that's what you do to make money, this is what I do to make money, and just because, you know, I perform in front of thousands of people, or come to London, hundreds of people, or whatever the case may be, it doesn't make me a better person at all. You know what I mean? I, I think, uh, I don't think I'm better than anybody. I think I do my best to be a good person and I guess people can relate to that. Just cause I'm me, I don't give a fuck. Uh, that, that's what I love about my favorite artists, you know? And sometimes you, you hear things about them and they they might be assholes or whatever and it's, it makes it a bit harder to enjoy the music knowing that that person isn't so down to earth or, and don't get me wrong, you know, because some people, they're popular. It may go to their head. It's kind of normal for that to happen, for them to kind of walk around. So that's understandable. But there's a difference between, I guess, the celebrity state of mind and then being a dickhead, you know. And I really don't prefer either. I, I just, I'm just me. I'm just logic. Sometimes I feel like I drifted, I feel different, I feel gifted, I've been high so long, don't need to smoke to get lifted, I've been under pressure looking for Nikki, whenever she is around, you know I come quickly, vivid memories of Chicago, south side where I go, from Reggie to the House of Blues, progress is the motto, man, the first show that I ever done, so that was in Chicago. Being from Maryland, being from where I'm from, and being signed to Def Jam, it's dope, you know what I mean? But it's always been Visionary Music Group, the independent label. That's that's why I'm here, that's what got the fans. Um, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, if it wasn't for Visionary, I wouldn't be here. So it's incredible to have partnered with somebody like Def Jam to see the vision in a major way 
and that's one thing that I love about it. But at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's more of an independent movement now than ever. Yeah. It definitely feels surreal sometimes, like thinking about where I came from to where I am now. It's crazy. I love it. I enjoy it. I think I think what I'm doing now is, is really beautiful, especially because of where I came from at the end of the day. Um, you know, just like coming from Maryland, but mainly my household, you know what I'm saying? Just all the things that I witnessed and went through, it was... Uh, it was crazy, it was a lot to overcome, but I never saw it as too much of an obstacle at the end of the day, I don't know why. I think music is something that just helped me, it just allowed me to express myself, you know what I mean? And, and just kind of get out of where I was from in that negative space, yeah, for sure. I think life itself influences me to make music, you know what I mean? Because that's what I write about. I write about my life every day, my past, my present, my future, where I wanna go, who I wanna be, who I am, and where I see myself. Um, I think everyday life is my biggest inspiration. On top of production that, that inspires me to want to write. Check it. Living like I'm ready to die. Maybe not. I don't know why. My mind is changing, rearranging this dangerous melody. Uh, yeah. And I know that ain't nobody finna ever be ahead of me. Y'all the competition right over dead of me. Uh. I just want to be remembered for uh, being a young man and an artist that did his best to make great music and spread a message of peace, love, and positivity at the end of the day. That's all I want to be known for. Yo, what up, y'all? It's Logic here. Make sure you subscribe to SBTV. Two, two, four.